So it could go either way. It all comes down to the driver, essentially. I mean, yes, people were like, well, he had an amazing car. Well, yeah, he's still got to be a good driver. And Great. yeah, he's still got to have a good pit team because as George Russell proved when he first did his first race in Hamilton's car when he had COVID, he could have won that race had it not be for the pit crew messing up his tires. Okay. Not messing up. They messed up the pit strategy, and he still – they messed it up twice. They bring they brought him in twice. He still almost won the race. And when he came in for the third time, which should have screwed him, and they messed up his tires, and he was sitting there in the pit box trying to get the right tires, which is why he had to come back because they screwed up his tires, he still almost won the race after that. So, so it's that like that sounds like the same thing that like Dano was saying earlier, right? Like, yeah, you can have a star player on a team, mm -hmm. but like, but sometimes like, star players don't work on a system that correct. a team is empl employing, right? And you have to understand that these Formula One teams, it's not just the driver and pit crew; it's all the engineers, it's people looking at tire pressures, it's people who put the fuels, uh, the fuel mixtures together because they have custom fuel mixtures, custom oil mixtures, which you have to check. They have to have right. one liter, one liter of fuel left over after every race for testing to make sure they're not cheating. All of that has to work in concert. It is an orchestra. And if all of that doesn't work, you don't win. 